All right, so just back from a trip to Arizona, I put out that video here. If you've already seen it, that's the snakes. Um, we found a lot more than just snakes on this trip, and I'm going to share that now. So our flight was a Spirit Airlines flight. We left out of John Wayne, Orange County in Southern California. Now I'm going to go on the record and say I'm not a big fan of Spirit Airlines. Um, we got a $21 fare to Phoenix, but uh, they usually try and upsell you with all kinds of other things, including baggage space. But uh, we only had our backpack, so it was pretty easy, and it was an empty flight. The flight time was about 50, 53 minutes, something like that. And uh, yeah, we landed in Phoenix where we rented a car and headed south towards Tucson. Yeah, big time. All the way across. It was cool. <laughs> so after about a two hour drive and one of the most incredible rainbows we've both ever seen, we arrived at the Ventena Canyon Lodge. And this place is nestled in the foothills of the Catalina Mountains. While my wife decided to go out by the pool for a while, I explored the grounds. The first thing I noticed were how many butterflies there were. And I mean, there were butterflies by the millions. And that is no joke. And that's due mainly because of the monsoon season this year. It was extremely rainy compared to the last few years, and the Catalina Mountains were green. Like, it's a desert, but the mountains were green. The main butterfly I saw was this desert hackberry. There were millions of them, and they seemed to be congregating around this plant with the little berries. I'm not sure if that's the host plant or if they just eat the rotting fruit. Anyways, there was this one that was either just emerged or had some kind of deformity. Anyway, I thought I'd help it on its way and at least move it off the path so it wouldn't get trampled. Anyway, I headed back to the pool to get my wife and begin a three hour drive south for snakes. Uh, what do we got here? Fiji's. Yeah, many of you guys don't know this, but Loopy, he loves the Bee Gees. <laughs> snake back there well Lou did but it, it wasn't alive so the song is like appropriate for snakes alive staying alive right baby that's right Brilliant. There you go. So if you want to see the thing, you know, spoiler alert, it's an alien baby. But just real quick, guys, this is a newer, I don't know, Toyota something. But Corolla. It's Corolla, but it's got this, like, radar assist, or I don't know what you call it, but, you know, the cruise control, not only does it go the right speed, it steers for you. You don't have to do anything. You're just going to have your hand on the wheel uh, at some stage. If you just take your hand off, it'll still steer but eventually it's gonna come up with a warning here saying put your hands back on the wheel, I think. Let's see. Anyway, um, no, there it is right there. So it says put your hand back on the wheel. So basically we just hold it to one side a little bit with a little pressure on it. It will keep driving. Pretty cool. It's handy. It's handy. So after a couple hours of driving, we stopped for a Caterpillar because why not? What are we gonna do? Well, it's not every day you get a wide open road all to yourself. It means it's cartwheel time. <laughs> awesome. And then shortly up the road from the Caterpillar was this Mojave rattlesnake. If you saw the other video, you saw lots of footage of this snake. I'll share just a little here. All right, so you can see him starting to S up a little bit. He started to rattle. 
because I'm blocking his path. But yeah, Mojave rattlesnake out in the daytime. I mean, this is perfect. So cool. Isn't that cool? So we left the rattlesnake okay, and proceeded to the only here. place around for dinner, which was perfect. Here, the Portal Store Cafe and Lodge. We made new friends. <laughs> Just a quick behind the scenes in the kitchen here. Everything's closed, but these guys make a killer meal. Thanks, guys. Thank you. But we found all the snake hats and stuff. Like, we got to get one of those, right? Absolutely. Bought a hat, a hat and went out looking for snakes. Nice. <laughs> All right, so we stopped for the first snake of the night. It's a long-nosed snake. We see these at home, but we've been cruising how long, Sherry? Not very long. Not too long, maybe 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So we continued to cruise for the next few hours. We found a few snakes, saw a spider or two, even had a nice conversation with a few police officers. So that pretty much sums up our trip to Arizona. We had a great time. Again, if you want to see more of the snakes, I'll put a link probably over here somewhere. Otherwise, that's going to do it. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see you.